I don't know if you know anything about Mason, but Mason is, is, is sort of like a laid back place. We used to be a very vibrant community, and so over the years it's declined. Um, but Mason Caregiver's vision is to see it be a vibrant uh, place where people want to come. We have made a change, but uh, uh, starting with the mayor, you know, we, we elected a new mayor, and things are moving along just fine, you know. Well, I was uh, a pastor at Spirit of Truth. Uh, United Methodist Church in Mason, and uh, uh, the district superintendent at that time called me and asked me if I wanted to go through the uh, Shalom training at the uh, uh, Center for Transforming Communities. Well, we did a revival here at this church with uh, Pastor Jackson, and he uh, was talking to us about what he was planning to do, and we was on board from the first day. I got involved through Pastor Jackson, through the church. He was looking for representatives in all of the local churches. And my pastor, he approached me about representing our church. And I decided to call and come down to this organization because I wanted to give back to my community some of the things God had given me. Before Pastor Jackson and the uh, Shalom Ministry, uh, I've been a part of Mason for a long time. I've never known anyone to just come in and, you know, have a heart for Mason. Well, the early days, basically what we were saying, that the Mason had, had, hadn't had any kind of uh, community activities that brought the whole community together in years. And so that's the first thing I share with the mayor, uh, that we wanted to do some kind of community unity festival. And he would say, amen. He was right for it. He said, I don't mind doing something, but I just don't have the people in the city that are willing to do the work. Why well, I said, the Mason caregivers will find the people to do the work. See people come together and be excited about something happening here. And then, you know, they don't, we don't have many events. In fact, other than that one, we don't have any, the community doesn't have anything. And to see the community come out to respond and be a part of it, it's just awesome. I remember when I was a, a kid, we, uh, they used to have uh, festivals downtown Mason, and people would come from Chicago, New York, they would come back here just for that particular day. And this is what I'm looking for, uh, our next year in the film, I'm looking for people to just come from everywhere, just to come back home and be a part of this. The thing is to stay open to the flow of the Spirit and what He's bringing together, because it's about what God wants us to do, and it's not about us. I just think that Mason Caregivers is a wonderful group to work for, and through it, if you are working, and working for the good of those, then you get the fulfillment, and then you know that God is in the plan. We're building something that Mason can be proud of, and, and and a lot of people, you know, they're, they're, they're beginning to understand what we're about. They're beginning to come out and support. You know, they begin to ask about, well, what is the slum about? And when we sit out, we tell them what it's, what it's all about. It's all about unity. The reason we care is because we have been cared for. So therefore, we're just trying to give back what we have been given. We all respect each other. We love each other. We pray together. We go out and we have lunch together. We have dinner together. And I think that any time, uh, there's two or three people, you know, that, that, that have the same goal. I mean, you can't help but to be successful. And this is where, this is where we are right now. I think we're very successful.